Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. We learned over the weekend the Chiefs are trading Legereus Sneed to the Tennessee yeah. Titans for a 2025 third round pick. Mm. Uh, we know Legereus Sneed had one of the better uh had one of the better seasons this year for a defensive back, mm -hmm. although he was not rewarded for it with a Pro Bowl or an All-Pro selection. Right. Just look at what he was able to do against some of the top receivers that the Kansas mm -hmm. City Chiefs face, and right. that speaks for itself. But it seems to me a lot of Chief fans are upset because they didn't get more. There's like, if you're going to only get a third for him, you might as well keep him. Mm -hmm. But, Ocho, it looks, I think, from my, from my vantage point, <clears throat> Because he doesn't have a Pro Bowl on his resume, mm -hmm. because he doesn't have an All Pro on his resume, mm -hmm. he wasn't going to command the ransom mm -hmm. that teams gave up for Jalen Ramsey or right. what a team gave gave up for Stephon Gilmore. Mm -hmm. Had he had one of those pelts on his resume, mm -hmm. now we're talking a first, uh, a first or a late second round. Uh, excuse me, a late first or a second round pick. Mm -hmm. But because he didn't, he got that solely because he's been very, very good. Yeah, and the Chiefs wanted to reward him. He's been a model citizen in their organization, and I don't want him disgruntled playing on the franchise tag, yeah, knowing yeah. that we can't pay him. Ain't there no yeah. sense in us fooling and say, hey, if you just play this year for us on the franchise mm -hmm. tag, nah. we'll take care of you next year. Nah. They know that. He knows that. Mm -hmm. Let him move on. You got three Super Bowls out of him. I don't really mm -hmm. know what else you can ask. Right. He's been great for you on and off the field. Mm -hmm. So I think it was a great trade for them, and I'm happy for him. Yeah, I'm happy for him as well. Obviously, to me, I think he's one of the top three chats. Stay with me real quick here. I think he's one of the top three cover man-to-man -man corners in the NFL. Man-to-man. -man. I don't need no help. If I need to follow your best receiver the entire game, all four quarters, I can do that. He's one of those that will allow the defensive coordinator for the Tennessee Titans to be able to do more defensively because he can lock down one side, one side of the field and not need safety's help or need any goddamn – any any bluffing and all this salad dressing that defenses do, you know what? You got number 10 all game. He's able to do that. I'm happy for him. He has the Super Bowl rings. Now you've been compensated for the work you put in. Check. Yeah, you, now you're getting that check. Now you can play the game you love. Your family is set, and you, you're good. You're right. good. There's, there's really nothing to complain about. And the Kansas City Chiefs understood that there's no way, whether he had a – well, whether he had a Pro Bowl, whether he had an All Pro, we know the type of caliber player he is. Once you turn that goddamn film, that film on, and the yes. Tennessee Titans knew that as well. And and if it so, what? Oh, we are gonna play you. So now he has an even better season. He goes to the Pro Bowl. He becomes an All Pro. Yeah. If you couldn't pay him this year with none of those on his resume, how the hell are you gonna pay him, gonna next, pay him year next year with those yeah. on his resume? Right. So I agree with you, Ocho. And so this, I, you know, I like to like tell guys this. Okay, you got your rings. It's mm -hmm. kind of like. A, a a a a normal person that works a nine to five. Mm -hmm. You've made all the money. Now go do what you like to do. Right. Okay. He's got the Super Bowl rings. Now let's see how much money you can go make mm -hmm. because you've got the jewelry. Now let's see if I can secure mm -hmm. my family, family, family. Right. For multiple multiple generations. So congratulations. He had the, the big play against the Ravens. Mm -hmm. Got beat. Hey, he got it. First of all, he gave up a play. Then uh, the guy stood up. Oh, the guy stood up over him. Uh, mm -hmm. Zay Flowers. Remember, he stood up over him. That backed him up. He run, Zay Flowers come back, runs the shallow cross. Legereus punches it out on the goal right. line. Yeah. Touchback. Ball comes out. And the uh, Kansas City really never really felt threatened after that point. And then you remember uh, Ocho in the, what was that? In the wild card game, the divisional. In the divisional, when he got that quick jam on uh, Tyreek. On Tyreek, yeah. He caught he call, he call, Tyreek call, in the yeah, dirt. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> Man, that, that quick jam with that freeze to get you. If you ain't, yeah. oh, Joe, mm -mm. listen, you bet you better be dipping. You better be dipping that shoulder one way or another. Because once you quick jam and he watching the ball, there's really nothing you could do. Because as a receiver, your ass got to be in, inside looking gotta, at the gotta, ball, especially because you're on the road, so you yeah. can't hear. You got to look and see at the nothing. snap. Yeah, and yeah. if I'm Tyreek, how many times you think somebody tried to put hands on Tyreek and run the risk of missing him, and he? Mm -hmm. 
He do not, this to you, Ocho. Not, yeah, yeah, not not very many, not very many. But you know, you know, they play that soft shell too now. You know, yeah. they, they play that soft shell. So he's willing to get up there and challenge like that, knowing that he does have a little help behind him. But neither here nor that, you never ever ever really see anybody get their hands on Reek, regardless whether there's help mm-hmm. behind him or not. But Lajarius is he's the best I've seen at this in the new school. Now, guys did that a lot. That was something yeah. that they did a lot mm-hmm. because yeah. you had to get physical because I believe the receivers were a little bit more physical right. and you had to play through contact right. because they allowed the DB to be a little more handsy mm-hmm. than what they do now. So yeah. you had to play through that contact. Right. So guys had to quick jam you because you didn't want one of those guys to get ahead of steam and you got hell on your hands trying to get him yeah, down. Yeah, or yeah, stop yeah, him going. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, and you know, the, the question is, Ocho, how much did this, trade impact uh chiefs the chances of three pd well it, i don't think it impacts them at all i don't think it impacts them at all they still have a nice core of defensive backs there i think someone else is just going to step up and sneeze place obviously i think they're probably going to be able to, to draft well that's something that andy Reid and that organization has always done extremely well on the defensive side of the ball and the offensive side of the ball but again the pieces to the puzzle only one piece really matters that centerpiece, Mahomes, that nucleus, as long as Mahomes is still there, they're going to always be in contention. We have to remember that this is an NFL, excuse me, this is an NFL driven league that is run by the quarterback position. Having pieces around, having a great corner and all that stuff is fine and dandy, but Spags will do the job he needs to do with the players that he has. And obviously you might not be able to do some of the things, or you might not have a luxurious Sneed on your hands, but you're able to condense that around different not formations different uh how, how, do, how do you say it how do you say it? you know how you can you, you can only hide your player so much yeah so they're yeah. not exposed right fags knows what he can and can't call based on the personnel that he has i'll, I'll right. put it like that yes I, I i think also if you look at mcduffie who who was a first team all pro corner yeah Jalen Watson, who's the nickel, was mm-hmm. the starter before McDuffie got there. Yes, so you don't feel that if we have to start Jalen Watson, then I don't feel that there, obviously there are some, but we're like, hey, he started for us the lion's share of the season mm-hmm. a year ago. Right. And we went to and won a Super Bowl. So mm-hmm. if we have to put him in. And you are uh, Joshua Williams, uh, was, uh, I think a high draft pick for the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. The Chiefs, Brett Beach, and it, as you mentioned, Ocho, have done a great job of drafting. You look mm-hmm. at their drafted players. Kalof- uh, uh, Kaloftis, uh, you look at uh, uh, McDuffie, Brian Cook, uh, Joshua Williams, you look at some of the guys that they've drafted, mm-hmm. uh, Rashid Rice, Yeah, they've been great. Now, the only thing is, Sky Moore's got to take the next step. This is third yeah. year, Ocho. Yeah. He's a you junior know, now. Hey, this is the make or break a year. This should make or break a year. If you're going to arrive on the scene for any position, whether it be quarterback, whether it be DB, whether it be tackle, center, linebacker, this is your year. This is your year. Because yeah. at this mm-hmm. point now, you should have had it figured out. Yeah. You should have had it figured out. The speed of the game, the offense, there are no more excuses once you hit your third year. You got to hit the, you got to hit the floor running. You got to hit it running. Yes. So uh, they still have their nucleus. Yeah. They have CJ. Mm-hmm. They have my homeboy. They have Andy. They have Trav. Pacheco. Pacheco, they're they're gonna they're gonna be. It's interesting to see what they're gonna do with McKinnon. Uh, he's their third bound, third down back, really do everything, can catch right. out of the backfield, does mm-hmm. a great job of a uh, uh, blitz pickup. It's gonna be interesting. Um, I don't think he was gonna get more than a one year deal. The question is, does he want to be that one year to be in Kansas City or right. be somewhere else? All things being equal, if the money is comparable, I'm coming back because right. I know I'm gonna win. I know my role. I know what to expect. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens with him. But right. congratulations to J- Legeria Sneed. Job well done. Earned a big payday. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Before you even go nowhere. Before you even go nowhere. I know Legeria Sneed. I know you're going to see this. And I've, I've done this to, to all DBs and all receivers. You know, I play both sides of the ball. So if you really want to get some work in, if you want to get some work in this offseason, to make sure you go into camp, you're going to go into uh, the OTAs on point. You know, I'm available. We can do some one-on-ones. And we the one-on-ones that I do is old school one-on-ones. We start on the goal line and we do as many routes as possible till we get to the opposite side of the field. And that's the kind of work we get in. We take a five-minute break, then we bring it on back. Yeah, that, that's 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 a different kind of workout. That man choked me. And you shit. You crazy the as Tennessee hell. Tennessee Strangler. You crazy, you crazy as he hell. He's about the Boston yeah, Strangler. It, 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 Tennessee listen, Strangler. Listen, 
Listen, his last name won't his last name won't be Sneed if he cover me. You hear me? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm I'm not the one or the two. Mm-hmm. He got Shit. something for you. He got something for you. Nah, no, he don't. <laughs> yeah. He, 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 he got all that little back that? shoulder fade. That hey, little back that? shoulder fade that oh, no, you no, were no, trying to run. He, 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 that he, little he, stutter. He, hey, hey, I'm going to tell him. When he hop, oh, let me mm-hmm. tell you what he going to do. Now, when uh-huh. he hop, he going to try to open you up. He going to try to run yeah. a quick slant on you. No, no, so just stay right there. Stay right there. You know what? And in the matter of fact, I'm going to hop and I'm going to take off. Huh? I'm going to hop and I'm going to take off. Hold on, you in the goal line. Where you going? The field Who said road? we was on the goal line? You we just said we no, start no. on the goal line. Uh, we start on the goal line, work our way out. Okay. Out, not in. Oh, oh, I thought you said uh, start the goal line, then go, you know, go back. Okay, we start on the goal no, no, line. No, yeah, then yeah, we, we go do, to the team. Do, I, that's the way I used to do my one-on-ones in the offseason. I start on the, on the goal line. Right. You play man and man, you can play off either way. And we and we move the ball down the field. Wherever I catch it, that's where we start the next rep. And I, I, you, I never, never go deep. I ran nothing deep ever. So Mm-mm. the route tree All from I'm gonna one do, to six. I, guess what? I'm gonna go ahead and pick it, and I'm done with you for the day. <laughs> what I'm gonna do? I'm going to pick it. I'm done with you. Pick who? Pick a book. I will pick the ball off. Pick, pick your nose, man. Ain't nothing, you ain't picking. A, you ain't picking nothing off here. She. Hey, and just, then, just hey, Sneed. I know you're gonna see this, but you want some, some real work. Real then, work. Hey, and then I'm gonna hit the prime on you to the end zone. <laughs> 